Hi, everybody. The E Block on this Thursday begins with breaking news. Jerry Harris, one of the stars of Netflix cheerleading docuseries Cheer, has been arrested for child pornography. Harris was under investigation by the FBI for allegedly soliciting minors for sex back in May of 2019. However, according to a criminal complaint, we're told that he has been arrested because he allegedly asked teens for photos which they sent to him, according to the feds. The parents of two male children, both 14, claims that Harris had contacted both of the boys online and repeatedly solicited child pornography images and videos. Harris allegedly began contacting the boys in December of 2018. The minors provided law enforcement with multiple screenshots of communications with Harris via Snapchat and text messages along with evidence of apparent FaceTime calls with Harris. According to the complaint, Harris was 19 at the time and the boys were 13. Jerry is scheduled to appear in federal court in Chicago any moment for the child porn charge. Well, the third of five nights for the virtual 2020 Creative Arts Emmys is in the books, and The Mandalorian is now an Emmy winner. In fact, they are the new leader among shows, having won five last night. HBO's Watchmen tied VH1's RuPaul's Drag Race for second place, with four winning all of its hardware on night three. A great film, partially shot in Muskegon and along the lakeshore, is finally released, and now you have a way to enjoy it. Coming Up For Air tells the story of a mom struggling to find and rescue her son who is spiraling out of control. It has won several awards and features a cast and crew primarily from Michigan. You can stream it by going to the Playhouse of White Lakes website. Okay, get ready to let your inner wizard and leave your little gremlins at home. This one is just for the adults. John Ball Zoo is hosting a wizard adult night out tonight. The zoo is decorated in wizard themed decorations. This after hours event gives adults the opportunity to experience the zoo at night without any of the kids. There'll also be wizard themed food and adult beverages. Timed entry tickets are still available for six and 615, so hurry and tickets are $20. Finally, Val, with 98 days till Christmas, American Girl is bringing back the 80s. The Mattel-owned brand has added a new doll to its collection, and she's devoted to the decade of big hair and new wave rock. Oh my gosh, is that, she's standing in front of a Pac-Man machine? I love it. Her name's Courtney, with her big hair, scrunchy, wearing a, her 80s-inspired, high-waisted, acid-watched jean skirt, hot pink leg warmers, faux leather boots, and American Girl is matching customer donations dollar for dollar up to $50,000 to support Girls Who Code, a nonprofit aimed at closing the gender gap in technology by educating, educating girls in tech Technology. Oh, I love that. Did you I love did, that idea. Did you rock that look in the 80s? I did not. However, I noticed she's got like a little Walkman. Yeah. I didn't have one um, until I was like in college, but I had the one. Do you remember the ones that would flip over so you didn't have to take the tape out and turn it over? It would, oh, I thought it was so trendy. I may, <laughs> have, I may have worn the leg warmers or not. I believe I can see you in those. <laughs> Thanks, Kirk.